All right, a quick highlight video, plus we sent out uh, some stocks we were watching for today. We sent out a video last night, so I'll just follow up on that and show some highlights of what we did today in our chat room. ENER, if you remember, uh, for last night we had a potential catalyst or trigger price of 525. This was uh, over yesterday's base. These are five-minute candles. There's the opening candle today, and you can see it put in an early high of 521. There's the opening candle. All right, so it sold off, but it sold off down to, let me get rid of my drawing tool so I can see the numbers. Uh, the low here was 507. So when it started to climb back up, in the chat room I said uh, uh, 522. In other words, if it breaks the high of the day, that's very close to our 525 catalyst that's based on the daily chart. So I uh, told everybody 522, I, I put it out as an announcement. 522 trigger, worst case stop 510. Um, and then as it put in this candle, uh, verbally said, hey, um, I'm going to nibble some right here in case we get the high of day break. So I grabbed some 519, uh, added at 522 as it broke the high of the day. And then it didn't take too long. And then we got that 525 trigger. And then over the next 10 or 15 minutes, went to 538. Now that's not a huge move, uh, but for a $5 stock from, I uh, had a 520 average entry to, uh, you know, to 538, almost 20 cents on a $5 stock is not too bad of a move. And as we teach, we scale out on the way up. Um, and get at worst case a break even stop on the rest and uh, you can see the market ended up getting weak and uh, ENER gave a lot of it back too and the daily not looking great for a follow-through so far like it looks like we talked about this before uh, ENER is really having trouble with this 540 area and it may meander back down to the bottom of this range it may depend on the overall market as well but keep your eyes on ENER put in another high a 538 you had a 538 back here so if ENER prints the 540s one of these days look to the left you've only got another spike from August of 580 so one of these days if you can get in the 540s on ENER you might be surprised and get some follow through in the meantime if it doesn't follow through in the next day or two we may be headed back down to the 450 area again so uh, but anyway we got a decent trade out of it uh, Another one we played this morning, Coco Corinthian Colleges. It was uh, set to open at like 4.50. Now these are five minute candles just going back a few days. Had a big spike in the afternoon and the daily chart looked pretty good too, like it might be turning. So when uh, in the pre-market when we saw this thing um, set to gap up, it was set to open about here, we put it on watch. Now here's the opening five minute candle. Uh, it was in a seven cent range, had a low of 4.47 and a high of uh, 4.54. So uh, put this out as an announcement, 455 could get this going. That's how we play a gap play. If you get a narrow early range, and there it was, 455 within five minutes up to 464. And I'm already selling because, uh, again, a dime on a $4 stock is not bad. And in case you don't get any follow through, um, and then it chopped around. So I sold some. I always try to keep some in case you get the accidental home run on the back half, but I go to a break even stop. And it did break the high here, but just couldn't follow through. Ended up killing this thing for a small gain on the back half. But we always teach our members to sell into that first pop quickly in case it reverses. And the whole market reversed, and uh, Coco ended up closing pretty ugly there. Um, but it doesn't matter. Even with that ugly close, we put money in our pocket. So it's all in, uh, in your attitude when you're trading and how quickly you, uh, you, know, you pay yourself. Um, if you remember, we put Dean Foods. That was our free pick last week. We put it back on watch uh, for our chat room and we, we was in the video last night uh, okay had a nice big pop here two days two days down not as far down as the big run uh, so a retracement here partial retracement on lower volume okay so then um, I'll switch to intraday to show you what we did with it now here it is uh, this is the opening five minute candle for today all of this was yesterday's trading so uh, if you remember me talking about bounce plays what we hope for the first 15 minutes or so is a narrow range and we had that in Dean Foods had an early high of 810 early low of 805 so the things in nickel range so again I put out the announcements 811 could get this moving and uh, lo and behold 811 worst case stop and this is why we want a narrow range worst case stop 804 now if you've watched any of our videos you know that uh, when we take something at 811 and it does this okay again we start selling and then we get to a worst case stop of 811 so on the rest you can't lose um, and 825 was all I could muster, but still, again, a nice quick percentage gain um, on very, very little risk. So it doesn't seem like much. Um, and now the daily, um, you know, still looks like just another pullback day, and it may be back on bounce watch tomorrow. Um, but I really liked that early pop this morning, uh, and that one worked nicely. 
another example, OVTI we had on watch today because it just got killed yesterday. So then switching to fives and then intraday, I'll try to show you what it did. This was the opening candle intraday and put in an early, uh, after that early high, uh, the opening high of 29.36, it put in a subsequent high, 29.15, and then kind of went sideways. And we ended up calling this at 29.04, kind of a little wedge break here. And there was the trigger, 29.04. We said that could get you through this earlier high of 29.16, which could get you through the high of the day, which could get that crowd of people saying, I knew OVTI was oversold yesterday, and then they start to chase. Um, 29.04. Unfortunately, now it did get up to uh, 29.33, but it could not get through the high of the day. But even then, it still had about a 30 cent move. And as always, we pay ourselves on the way up. I kept some with a break even stop in case it could get through the high of the day. Uh, I told you know people we could have gotten a, a measured move to 29.80 or 30. But uh, again, the market was weak and it just couldn't get through the high of the day. So it rolled over and got the rest of my trade but um, for a flat. But the rest of it was a nice trade. Uh, and something else we teach, PNC. Um, using a method we teach on this sell-off here, I was able to call it at 2879, sorry, 5879, um, with a stop only seven cents below, and it went quickly to 59, so uh, a little bit over 59, about a, a little bit over 20 cent move in just a few minutes, but uh, again, it didn't, it didn't hold up, so we scale out, get to a break even at the worst, um, and he tried to make a second wave there, just couldn't get going, so um, you know, we, we do some of uh, this intraday capitulation type uh, counter trend plays too, uh, but we still only take it if we get like a six or seven cent, 10 cent at worst case um, trigger and stop based on the chart. So anyway, I'm going to quit babbling. Wasn't a huge day, but most of what we tried today worked. Uh, just didn't get any huge follow through. Um, and I will wrap this up and uh, geez, I'll try to get out a free pick tonight. I know I still haven't sent one out this week. Um, so if, if I don't, uh, we'll really strive to get one out tomorrow night. All right. So I'll talk to you later.